when it comes to all-terrain tires, the Nitto Recon Grappler and Toyo Open Country 83 both bring unique strengths to the table. They are both worthy opponents outperforming each other in some key areas. So it's important to consider your specific needs to determine which tire is a better fit for you. And that's exactly what we are going to find out in this video. Let's take a quick look at their designs and then we'll discuss how these tires perform on both highways and rugged terrains. The Nitto Recon Grappler features a distinctive design with staggered shoulder lugs and large mud scoops that provide exceptional off-road traction. Its dual side walls give the tire added durability and form thicker lugs on each side. However, its shoulder blocks lack intricate features having only small notches and simple rectilinear siping. Though, in the middle, things get a little interesting, as here you see two triangular ribs joining multiple blocks together within. These blocks have sharp edges, in-groove biters, and full-depth siping, and they make wider interconnected lateral grooves connecting the outer zigzag circumferential channels. On the other hand, the Toyo Open Country 83 features a compact thread structure with S-shaped lugs in the middle surrounded by those with F-shaped geometry. These blocks are designed with the notches facing in all directions, providing grip from multiple angles, though with packed up shoulder lugs having connectors in between and missing notches, they aren't capable of delivering much off-road bite. Same goes for its outer edges where although you get similar mud scoops, the sidewall lugs are not thick enough. So even with lowered air pressure, they don't get to provide as much bite in comparison. But on road, there aren't any complaints with this tire. On smooth pavements, there are two main things to consider, the directional grip and handling. Directional grip tells you about the tire's ability to brake and accelerate while rolling in a straight line and it depends on the central part of the thread. And since Toyo Open Country 83 has narrower grooves over there, it gets to provide a larger contact patch with the ground and this results in shorter braking distances. The tire also does better with handling as it features a firmer design, yielding a better quality of contact between the tire's shoulders and the ground. When the tire turns, the majority of the weight it carries is transferred to the outer edges, and the tire's ability to handle this weight and maintain stability is critical to overall handling performance. That's why Nitto Recon Grappler with a heavier weight and softer thread compound is lacking in this performance section. Its thread blocks are more susceptible to bending and this results in under and over steering which negatively impacts its overall handling capabilities. Additionally, the Nitto Recon Grappler with heavier construction and wider thread voids exert extra strain on the tire's lugs causing more wear and tear over time. This results in a shorter thread life and reduced fuel efficiency. The larger weight basically gets divided on a smaller thread area, and its blocks rub against the surface with relatively greater friction. On the other hand, the Toyo Open Country 83 with its stable lugs allow for a more effective transfer of energy into the overall tire's movement. In other words, on Toyo 83, less energy gets wasted into bending of its lugs like seen on Recon Grappler. Noise gets generated with air, which mostly comes through the shoulders and hit the walls around the thread, creating unwanted sound waves. 
The Toyo Open Country 83 features a superior whisper groove technology that restricts air flow, reducing the amount of air that enters the thread and creates noise. This leads to a much quieter driving experience. Basically, two things are happening with these whisper grooves, or you can say connectors between the shoulder blocks. One, they act as ear blockers, killing noise at the source. And two, they offer superior dry handling and steering response as we saw in its respective section. The Recon Grappler, on the other hand, features variable pitch technology in which the thread design incorporates slight variations in the block geometry. When air particles hit these different parts of the thread, they create distinctive tones and frequencies along the way, and those try to cancel out each other. However, despite this technology, the tire is still louder compared to Toyo Open Country 83. When it comes to off-road performance, the Nitto Recon Grappler has the upper hand. On muddy trails, the tire excels with better evacuation capabilities, as its staggered shoulder lugs and larger mud scoops prevent mud from being packed between the tire's blocks. In comparison, the Toyo 83 with ridges in between the shoulder lugs prevent this terrain's thick material to leave out sideways. And so, this results in a faster mud packing which loses all traction. Similarly, the Nitto Recon Grappler is a much better tire for rocky terrains. It provides more biters a solid 3-ply polyester inner construction that protects from sharp encounters and thicker sidewall lugs which with lowered air pressure provide better efficacy. The Toyo Open Country 83 in comparison is only better on sandy terrains. The tire's lighter structure is less digging, and so it achieves better forward momentum, especially on slopes. Lastly, let's talk about tire sizes. The Nitto Recon Grappler comes in 98 total sizes in 16 to 24 inches, whereas the Toyo Open Country 83 gives you 148 in 15 to 22 inches wheel diameters. They all have the following specs. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And visit CompareTheTire.com to check out all the other comparisons, including this one. Till next time.